So today I'm starting to work on the Craftsman tractor. That's the one with the front end loader with currently has pallet forks on it. So as you can see this rim is pretty rusty. Well, I filled them with uh, basically salt water for weight because I was cheap and didn't want to you know, buy washer fluid. And so I guess this one's developed a leak inside so the tubes leaked inside the tire and then it's started to seep out around where the valve stem comes out and it's rusted the entire rim too it's probably rusted it inside as well oh and the other thing that's going to happen is it's going to get a paint job so interestingly enough when i had this laying on the ground i pulled this valve cap off and water just started pouring out oh and now of course it won't <laughs> hmm, okay, well, take the valve core out. And <laughs> water came shooting out of it. There we go. Jeez. That couldn't have been more awkward. <laughs> Uh, maybe I can reclaim most of it. So I guess it was still under pressure in there. I'm surprised that it was uh, leaking. I guess just a tiny bit leaked at some point. Hmm. Now I see what happened. So the valve core actually came apart. So it probably leaked. So this probably got pl uh, plugged or clogged up. And while the valve cap was still on, it somehow started leaking. And some came out, but not a whole lot. And so it was enough to rust the rim and make me think I had a problem, but the only problem was that. So I don't think I have to go to all the trouble of uh, evacuating this. I think I can just clean it up. Oops. Put a little bit back in if I can. And fill it back up with air. Okay, well this isn't going to be as simple as I thought. I went to just put the valve core back in the stem, and as I was tightening it up, the whole thing started spinning, and then it popped out and did that. <laughs> so at least I can drain it easily now. <laughs> but yeah, the tube shot, so on to plan B. Uh, it doesn't want to come out too easy. Hmm. There we go. That might work. It's going to take a while. But hopefully we can get enough out so we can get the tire off and the tube out. So I put some rust converter on this rim. And I think it's reacting with the salt. So I think I have to get all this off first. But you couldn't see that before. Hmm. Well, we'll see. So interestingly enough, when I painted this rim last night, I thought I had screwed it up with the type of primer and paint I used, had reacted. Because as you can see, it went all textured and, and kind of crackly. And I did that as soon as I put the paint on. I thought, oh well, it's uh, it's messed up. But now today I come out and I'm just looking at it, and all the uh, textured stuff's coming off, and then the paint actually seems okay. It's just coming off like dust. So I'm not quite sure what happened, but <laughs> that'll work. It'll look good enough for a lawn tractor. So over in this corner of the shop, I've got a tire machine set up and I have one of the small portable motorcycle wheel tire changers on it and I just made a little adapter so it fits on top and normally it works great for smaller tires. This is a little bit on the large size for what I'm doing here and so I would be better off to actually unbolt the hub 
and mount this tire using the regular tire changer. Um, but I think I can get it this time, but uh, in future I think I'll do that. It, bit of a struggle getting it off, so. Also, I thought I'd mention, this is, a, this is an ATV tire, and it's on an ATV rim as well. That's why I've got this adapter, homemade adapter in it. But I, I never knew this when I first put these tires together. And I've taken them apart several times, but I've read online that these are almost impossible to actually break the bead on. And I don't know if that's if that is true or not. I don't really deal with a lot of ATV tires, but I've done them several times just with this bead breaker, and it really has never been that big of a deal to break the beads and get these tires on and off. I've had to change the tube in them. Well, I originally didn't run tubes, and they're always going flat, so then I put the tubes in them. I had to change one before, and well, now I'm changing another one. So, so I've done it a few times with these this set of wheels and tires, and it hasn't really been an issue. So I don't know. If supposedly it should be an issue, but you know, if you guys want to chime in and give me your thoughts on that, let me know. I've got the tire reinstalled and I've got the new tube in there. I've got this on there just so it doesn't fall inside. So I've gone ahead and I've filled it with air in order to seat the bead. So now I'll take the air out and we'll try and put the washer fluid in. So here's the setup. Just an old fuel pump. I got the washer fluid in a bucket. I got a battery charger. And got this hose hooked up to the fuel pump. So hopefully we can connect it. Oops. There we go. That should pump a fair bit of fluid into the tire. So hopefully I don't have to stop too often and, uh, you know, let the air out or vent it to get the air out to let more fluid in. There we go. Well, it's pumping. Can't hear it, but I'll let it do that for a while. See what happens. Well, I can't hear any fluid in there, so I don't think it's working. Oh, wait a minute. The level's gone down. Has it? Well, I'm a little surprised. I think it's going in. Let's just watch this for a second. Yeah, it does look like the level's dropping. Oh, maybe it's working pretty good then. Well, I'll leave it and we'll see. So I've topped it up once. Now it's back down to where it was when I filled it up again. I think the pump is starting to slow down. And yeah, it's definitely in there now. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it and see if it backflows. And it doesn't appear to be. Okay, let's see this geyser. Ah, 
wash your fluid stings. So, there we go. Fill it up there, put it back on, and it weighs considerably less now than when I had the um, sodium chloride mixture in it. But that's okay. Uh, still weighs a fair bit, maybe 50 pounds now, which is better than nothing. And yeah, the paint job's coming along, so overall, not bad. I'm really impressed with how that went filling the, the tire with the washer fluid using the fuel pump. The first time I filled these tires, I used an air tank that I filled with liquid, and then I pressurized the tank, and I filled it that way. But I had to stop a lot and let it vent, and then I'd have to uh, put the air back into the tank to pressurize it so it would pump it into the tire, and it took a long time. So doing it this way with a little electric fuel pump, it only took maybe a total of 15 minutes. Really not long at all. So. That worked out quite well. I'm happy with that. The paint job's not coming out great, but I think it's looking a lot better than it did. So, anyways, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.